So we're going to talk about the uh, forward swept wing here. Um, like we talked about in class, initially uh, the forward swept wing helps us with uh, transonic flow over the wing. That's when some of the airflow over the wing is actually supersonic. Um, transonic occurs between 0.75 and 1.2 Mach, which is 0.75 to 1.2 the um, speed of sound. Um, and what that does is it helps us with our uh, maneuverability by maintaining aileron effectiveness even as shock waves form on the uh, on the wing. Um, and since they build up with the forward swept wing, those shock waves which are causing drag and turbulent airflow will actually build up at the root instead of the tip. Um, the other major characteristic of a forward swept wing is uh, a reduction in induced drag associated with spanwise flow. Now on a conventional swept wing, um, I'm drawing one down here, uh, we have spanwise flow from the root to the tip. Um, and so, and that's because as the air hits the, the wing, it tends to bend and, and flow outwards from the root to the tip just because of the design of the wing. With a forward swept wing, we actually have flow from the tip to the root because of the forward swept design. And so, we have a reduction in wing tip vortices and their associated induced drag. Um, and so what, what happens is we're able to generate the same amount of lift um, without the penalty of induced drag and so we can make the wing smaller reducing also parasite drag for a given amount of lift production. So there's a drag overall drag reduction on a forward swept wing. Um, some of the disadvantages of the forward swept wing primarily they're structural. With that leading edge forward of the trailing edge we have a lot of wind resistance um, associated with that tip being forward of its kind of mounting point. There's some, there's a, there's some leverage associated with that, um, with this distance here. Um, you know, so we have kind of a moment arm built up there, and there's going to be a tendency for this tip to twist, uh, which is bad because what happens is at high angles of attack, now your, your tip is going to be sitting at a higher angle of attack than your root, and you're going to have tip stall to be a, a tendency with the uh, forward swept wing. Um, they are able to control that to some degree using some modern materials, but the, one of the main reasons we don't see a lot of forward swept wing airplanes is that the advantages aerodynamically do not outweigh the uh, disadvantages from a structural standpoint, and there are ways like winglets um, and wing fences to reduce spanwise flow and drop that drag down on a conventional swept wing airplane um, and almost get the same benefits that you would get with a forward swept wing airplane. Now arguably the forward swept wing airplane looks cooler um, so if we designed airplanes just based on looks uh, it might be worth it to just go through all the structural sort of engineering to make it happen. Um, and forward swept wings also tend to be heavier because of the structure required. Now modern uh, composite materials are enabling them to build them lighter but ultimately this is probably a design we will not see much of um, you know, unless it's uh, the extreme sort of uh, fighter like the Su-47 um, or the X-29 sort of research project. Now, um, the Su-47 is a frontline fighter, so obviously, you know, those design characteristics, uh, having to, to, to jump those structural hurdles was worth it um, to get the advantages of that forward swept wing. I hope this helps uh, just sort of expand the discussion. I love this stuff, so anytime you guys have a question, I will try to look it up and get you an answer. Um, appreciated Jonathan's help, help as well in class there explaining that uh, transonic issue uh, of flow. And just, for, uh, just to make a point, like just because I'm standing up in front and teaching does not mean that I know everything. So um, if I am, and I said this in the last video as well, if I'm saying something incorrectly, or uh, someone has a question in class that I can't answer but, but you feel you can, I, I'm totally okay with uh, opening up that discussion. We do have a time crunch in class a lot of times, so if I hurry it along, it's not because um, I don't like having those discussions. It's primarily because we just need to get going um, and, and get on with the subject matter so we can, uh, we can get through the material that's required. Thanks for your time, and uh, we'll see you Wednesday.